Hi everyone, Dr. Jen back and I am hanging out in beautiful Catalina State Park here in Tucson, Arizona. And I'm back with some tips this time on how you can flirt like a pro, an animal pro. As an expert in animal behavior, I like to help people solve some of their problems using what we learned from other species. This is a fun topic to talk about because who doesn't love to flirt? Okay, granted some people don't, but others are simply too shy or too worried about being rejected, that's a topic for another video, uh, to engage in any kind of flirting. Before I give you some strategies that other animals use to flirt with a potential love interest, I wanna clear up one little misconception. It's a common one, and that is that males make the first move. By and large, across other species, and most of the time, even in humans, it's not males that make the first move, even if they think they're making the first move. It's females that usually give a signal that they're interested in. And this signal or flirt can be really subtle. But even though it's the female that usually sends the first signal, hey, it's 2019 and flirting goes both ways. So here are a few key tips on how to flirt successfully. Say you find yourself in a situation where you're looking at someone and you're thinking, my, they sure are attractive, and all of a sudden, they look at you. You could do a few things. One is to swerve your eyes away awkwardly and make everyone feel a tiny bit uncomfortable. You could also keep staring, which, unless you're a baboon, direct eye contact and staring is usually an invitation for a fight instead of an invitation for dinner. Your other option, if you've been caught looking at someone you find attractive and are thinking of flirting with, is to give a small smile before averting your eyes. Or you could do what I've done and say something weird, like, wow, that sweater color really looks good on you. I think giving a small smile and averting your eyes is probably your best bet. Are there other ways to flirt beyond this clearly tricky eye contact thing? Absolutely. Emperor penguins have this flirting thing down pat. They face each other and they do the old lean in, all while shyly looking down. No eye contact is necessary. Of course, if you lean in and they lean away, that is a clear signal that they're not interested in you. This brings us to a crucial point. Please, please, please do not go all giraffe on someone. What does go giraffe on someone mean when it comes to flirting? Well, since male giraffes nudge females in their hindquarters, their butt basically, um, this is definitely a no-no. This would be equivalent to you grabbing somebody's butt, patting somebody's butt, or otherwise putting your hands on their body without an explicit, without an explicit invitation to do so. If you're gonna take a chance with physical contact, go snail, not giraffe. Snails are pretty subtle about how they reach out and touch someone. Okay, back to some ways on how you can flirt successfully. You could add a little flamingo to your arsenal. When flirting, the greater flamingo actually prefers not to get too close. They instead stretch out a leg and, and, and spread a little wing. Now, if you literally did put your arm up and stretch your leg out, it would definitely get you some attention, but it might not be a date. Another option is to play with your hair. Now, this is pretty similar to capuchin monkeys. Females will fluff up their hair to get a male's attention. On the other hand, they'll also throw rocks and pout if the male doesn't respond to their fluffing up their hair. So, ladies, don't go all capuchin on someone. If you're a man and you have a full head of hair, it could be very similar for you where you run your fingers through your hair. We see men do this all the time. Now, if you don't have any hair, please don't run your fingers through imaginary hair. That wouldn't be a good look either. Like other animals, people use a variety of ways to flirt with someone that they're interested in. If you're too shy to look at someone, don't worry, there's other options for you, um, which is good because not everyone can pull off a quick glance and a small smile. Some people just end up looking like they're constipated. 
A general great strategy is to find an attribute that you like. Um, if it's your legs, or if, if you like to wave, um, or you feel confident about your hair, use that attribute and some way to highlight it when you're flirting. Usually, if they're keen on you too, any one of these strategies will work. And then, like a proper animal, they'll take it from there. If all else fails, just tell them that sweater looks good on them and hope they're actually wearing a, a sweater. There you have it. Some tips on how to flirt like an animal. So go on out and get your flirt on. Thanks for listening.